Good, happy Tuesday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Good Evening, New Hampshire. Let's get started. Woman flown to hospital after Laconia robbery. A medical helicopter was called to Laconia after two women were robbed and attacked at gunpoint Monday evening, police said. Family writes passionate obituary after son dies of heroin overdose. A Bridgewater family wrote an impressive and poignant obituary for their son who died of heroin overdose. Ayotte joins bipartisan group of senators to push for passage of campus safety bill. U.S. Senator Kelly Ayotte on Tuesday joined a bipartisan group of more than a dozen senators at a Capitol Hill news conference to push for passage of a Campus Accountability and Safety Act. Driver Dilemma. Wipers up or down? You pull into a parking lot at your office and notice that the vehicles around you have their wipers pointed up. What do you do? Nashua man accused of beating brother with bat baton. A Nashua man is facing assault charges after he was arrested Monday for beating his brother with baton, police said. Presidential primary election result, April 26, 2016. Check out your primary election results for Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island. And we'll have a special starting tonight at 9 p.m. right here on the Riley King Network. Judge denies request for new trial for man convicted of Stabbing. A judge has denied a request for a new trial for a man convicted of stabbing a Madbury teenager to death. New Hampshire seeks applicants for trail grants. Nonprofit organization and other groups looking for help maintaining and restoring trails in New Hampshire can now apply for state grant funding. What Kelly Ripa said, full transcript. Kelly thrilled for Michael, overwhelmed by support. Kelly Ripa returned to her daytime talk show Tuesday, ending in absence that following word, her co-host Michael Strahan will join Good Morning America. Driver dies after fiery crash in Milton. Mark Adjenston, 45, was taken to Birmingham and Women's Hospital in Boston, where he later died. Woman charged with DWI and fatal Claremont crash held on bail. Amber King, 36, faces negligent homicide and aggravated DWI charges. Harry Reid, I agree with Donald Trump on Tom Brady. There might be only one thing in which Donald Trump and Senator Minority Leader Harry Reid can find common ground, and that's Deflategate. FBI recommends agents notifying Apple for of security gap in Santa Bardo iPhone. 
the U.S. government is unlikely to notify Apple about how it was able to break into an iPhone left behind by one of the Cinebardo shooters, according to a source familiar with the matter. Now let's go to meteorologist Timothy Breslin with the weather. Good evening, Tim. Good evening, Riley. Thank you. Your weather for tonight. Partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows in the upper 20s. Light and variable winds is going to be in the lower 29 degrees. Now let's take a look. Our ice temperatures in New Hampshire. Here is your temperature in Nashua, New Hampshire, 37 degrees. Here is your temperature in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 35 degrees. Here is your temperature for Concord, New Hampshire, 38 degrees. And here's your temperature for Manchester, New Hampshire, 37 degrees. And now let's take a look on radar. It looks like New Hampshire's all clear. And here is your five-day forecast. It looks like Friday and Saturday is going to be nice and warm. And that's the report for the weather in New Hampshire. Now back over to you, Riley. Okay, thank you, Tim, for that weather report. And that does it for a good evening, New Hampshire, right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.